I washed my Chanel jacket in vinegar. Did I just ruin my jacket? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. If you're new here, I constantly get asked how I clean my luxury items, specifically when it comes to dry clean only clothing ready to wear as well as my shoes and my bags typically with my bags and my shoes i take quite good care of them anyway well especially with my bags with shoes i mean they touch the ground what do you expect they will get dirty but there are things that you can do um, to maintain them for the long term so that they last longer for you but let's talk about how i clean my dry clean only ready to wear now I'm just gonna say it right now, disclaimer, <laughs> please, if you're gonna try any of the things I'm gonna share, do it at your own risk. Yes, because that's what I do. I do it at my own risk. If I ruin anything, then it's, you know, it's something that I am aware and prepared for. And so far I haven't ruined anything, but you know, I'm just telling you, like, just be careful. Uh, don't just follow everything blindly. You still have to kind of weigh the pros and cons, I suppose. Like if your jacket is made of sequins and I don't know, diamonds and whatever, well, maybe not diamonds, like crystals, then maybe don't wash it yourself. Like, you know, go find yourself a very professional dry cleaner. Um, if there are any leather pieces, definitely don't put it in the washer. Um, but other than that, if it comes to just regular fabric, especially if it's a natural fabric like cotton, wool, or silk, uh, and maybe a mix of a synthetic fabric, you know, a lot of times I'm more than comfortable to handle those myself. These are some of my Hermes ready to wear. So I have some cashmere right here. This one is also cotton, but it's kind of like that uh, woven cotton. So they are slightly different from each other. Now, you know, that's why I said do it at your own risk because usually with the simple t-shirt cotton, it's usually no issues if you're gonna follow my steps. Just because of the way it's, um, it's woven, sometimes the fabric, the direction of the we weaving is different. Um, but like I said, I, I was aware of the fact that, hey, if it did change the shape of the t-shirt, I was okay with it because why? I usually typically like to choose clothes that are not so tight fitting that it doesn't have any wiggle room. So for me, if this t-shirt shrunk a little bit, I had more than enough wiggle room. I used the same method for all of them and they all came out totally fine. Uh, and usually, especially with natural fabric like this, cotton and wool, um, they do kind of reshape when they when you dry them they do reshape to be slightly tighter the more you wear it the more it kind of just like stretches out so when you wash it and dry it it kind of reshapes to its original shape so what do i do all i do is number one turn the garment inside out so anything that you wash especially when it's dry clean only and just to prove to you that this is a dry clean only garment there you go you see the little symbols I think unless it's viscose or rayon, those ones do shrink when you, especially if it if it's not already pre-shrunk. Um, those ones I would probably not buy in the first place. I, I do prefer my natural fabrics, uh, natural material. But regardless, number one thing to do is to turn it inside out. So that's what I did with the jacket as well. I just buttoned everything up and then I turned it inside out. The second step is to put it in a wash bag, something like this, because it allows you to protect the garment inside and it's a softer netting. So this goes to the laundry. So you put all of the clothes that you have turned inside out inside a garment bag. And then I throw in my washing machine. However, I do have a front load mesh washing machine. I would definitely not recommend it on a top load version. Or if you have a very old washing machine, I definitely recommend the newer washing machine, the ones that are kind of like a better quality ones. Put it at the most delicate cycle that you have, shortest cycle that you have. 
wash it on cold water only for the spin level I usually put it on low so usually the wash takes about half an hour once the load is finished you definitely want to take it out as soon as possible reshape all of your garment make sure you air dry everything so line dry everything so that's pretty simple and I've always done that with all my delicates whether they're dry clean only or not when it comes to the jacket however uh, they say that with jackets especially because they do have a certain structure um, you really don't want to ruin the structure however why did I decide to wash this jacket is if you guys follow my channel you know that I bought this jacket pre-loved and of course you know when you buy pre-love you can't tell if there's any smells or fragrances from the previous owner you just hope that it's minimal of course I've already dry cleaned it but the smell is so strong um, it's so pungent that it's still not completely gone even right now it's not completely gone but it's like 10 times better than it was originally maybe the previous owner just really kind of permeated this garment in in literally like fragrance every day for like a decade so let me just preface that by saying i'm not necessarily recommending that you do it to your chanel jackets because chanel jackets cost thousands of dollars and you definitely don't want to ruin them definitely seek your professional help so what did i do i followed the exact same steps i buttoned it up first turned it inside out put it on the delicate cycle washed it so that was my first wash i know oh by the way i use natural detergent i'll just link it below the one that i use it's canadian but i'm sure you can find any natural detergent where you live this is just a brand that i use from canada it's also very gentle that it doesn't uh, ruin uh, natural fabrics because you have to be very careful with natural material this is made of silk uh, it's a silk tweed right so it's 80 percent silk and that's the care label <laughs> size 36 um, also because the interior of Chanel jackets are silk right but as you can see the material on this jacket it has these silk ribbons throughout the jacket and then these are kind of like the tweed and this jacket is from the Shanghai Paris I think it's fall winter 2010 13 year old jacket which is no problem usually it doesn't matter the age of a garment as long as it's been kept in good condition and it is in good condition but it's just that the smell the fragrance plus any body odor whatever it is being spritzed and used in this uh, jacket has permeated the fabric permanently what i did on my second pass is that i soaked it in a vinegar solution i made sure to research it first so don't freak out as you can see i didn't ruin it i didn't ruin the jacket in fact i made it better which is why i'm sharing it with you so i'm just gonna keep doing that until the scent is like mostly gone something like this right you want to fill this up with cold water add your vinegar so you have to dilute the vinegar so make sure you don't pour straight vinegar into your jacket dilute that vinegar solution use maybe a quarter cup to half a cup i used only a quarter cup because i didn't know that was my first time i also kind of rubbed it especially the the armpit area i rubbed it around uh, just to maybe if there was any residue on it that it would get rid of it more uh, and i let it soak for about I think it was about nine hours that day and then I repeated the washing machine method where I just threw the whole like I just took the jacket it was still wet put it in the washing machine the natural detergent on delicate cycle and then air dried it again that was probably the step that took out a lot of the fragrance smell because I noticed after the second time of washing it washing and drying it that the the jacket overall like the sleeves and like you know the body uh, is is fine like it, the smell was almost not there anymore but definitely the underarms were still very very heavily scented so i did it a third time now the third time and this is done over the course of a few days right so the third time i used lemon juice again same principle because acid 
is supposed to lift any chemicals from fragrance and also kill bacteria and stuff like that on natural fibers. Definitely don't use it on everything. Do your research. I made sure to research silk, apparently to wash any silk. So if you have silk bedding, silk pillowcases, silk shirts, if you want to brighten your silk and it's also a natural uh, fabric softener, you can add apparently a quarter cup or a, a, up to half a cup of vinegar, white vinegar into your laundry. You can put it in the slot where you would put fabric softener and it will actually brighten up your clothes. So that's the same principle with lemon juice. I diluted it with equal parts of water and I used that to spray onto the jacket. I made sure to just spray mainly in the underarm areas because that was the problematic area. I just figured I'll, I'll try different acids, right? Uh, because you're not supposed to use baking soda on silk, just as a FYI. Uh, again, do your research on the fabric that you're trying to wash. You want the solution to kind of sit in the area that you're trying to treat for a little while, but not too long, I suppose, especially with lemon, it's quite acidic. I might still do more vinegar soak overall because that's, that's also good just overall to remove overall fragrance and, and odor. But um, I'll just keep doing that cycle, right? The treating with the acid washing and then drying again you would think that this silk tweed is a delicate fabric which it is you still have to treat it with care but i took the chance i washed it once and it was perfectly fine so i just kept doing it and apparently that's how you remove very very strong fragrance or any sort of smell like if it's smoke smell or if it's food smell well food is usually not a problem you can probably do it uh, once and it's probably okay but like smoke and fragrance especially because fragrance there's a lot of chemicals in it those things can really stick to the fabric and it's really really hard to remove so you kind of have to just repeat the cycle until it's mostly gone so that's what i'm gonna keep going hopefully i'll be able to salvage this jacket and i will want to wear it more because that's basically the reason why i don't wear this jacket okay up next how do i treat the leathers on my shoes and my bags again i already take such good care of my leather goods whether they are a shoe or a bag that i i hardly have to do anything to them but i do travel with my bags and i do find that every time i have used a bag extensively especially when i'm traveling i'm usually using the same bag for like two weeks and i go to a restaurant and you know you go everywhere it can feel a bit dirty uh, then i would do a sort of like a overall wipe and i do the same with my shoes so i feel like every time i've worn a shoe quite a few times and they maybe have like a scuff here and there especially for a white shoe then I'll just clean it. But I don't clean it so often. You don't wanna like overdo it either. I've been using this product here. Uh, again, I'm not saying that you have to buy this one. This has worked on my lambskin bags. It has worked on any of my shoes. And especially with lambskin, I feel like um, you wanna be gentle about it. It's usually a more delicate leather. So, so far so good. Again, I wouldn't, just like wipe the whole thing at once, especially if you've never tried it on that bag before. Just try maybe a very inconspicuous spot, maybe on the inside, maybe on, well, if you have something to kind of clean up, maybe try a little bit just to make sure that it's not gonna affect it. But so far I've used it on all my black lamb skin bags. I've used it on my caviar bags and I've also used it on all my shoes. It's a leather wipe. It says suitable for all colors and it's from Echo and Echo is known to make excellent comfortable shoes. Echo is also a supplier of leather to LV. I've never tried on Vachetta so don't don't come after me. Don't try it on your Vachetta because I've never tried it. But in general, uh, I have tried it on all my black bags and I have tried it on all my shoes and this is a great little wipe for that and it's uh you know every time i only use a little small portion because it's quite a big wipe so i just cut up a little portion just to wipe what i need something else that i got very recently and that might be useful for a lot of you this is the leather touch-up pen and it's from luxe du jour 
I've collaborated with Lux Du Jour twice now and I've also consigned a bunch of times with them. So they are a consignment store in Canada and in the US now, but they also rent bags. They also have a bag spa service, but they also sell just touch-up pens. So if you want to do it yourself, especially if it's like a minor touch-up, you can buy their touch-up pen. So this is their black touch-up pen. I don't think they offer it in any other color. I would even use it on my shoe if my shoe got scuffed. You know how sometimes you scratch something and it's white underneath? Uh, then you can use their touch-up pens. So these are just things that I like to have handy. And don't forget guys, I still have a coupon code with Luxe Du Jour. Um, if you want to buy anything on their website, you can save $150 for any purchases that are $1,000 or more. Usually on their site, you, you can only sign up for like a $100 coupon. So if you have anything that you're eyeing already, use my coupon code because it's only good until November 15th. I'll keep reporting back on my jacket. Like I said, I'm just going to keep repeating this process. I'll see how many more times I have to do this whole like soaking, washing, drying. Hopefully not too many times until it's mostly gone. Uh, it's already so much better now, but I will keep doing it until it's gone because I really like this jacket. I want to start wearing it more. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, in the meantime, you can watch these other related videos. And yeah, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.